Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazingly well, having a great day. I have got Lion's Mane hair today. I washed it and I've let it naturally dry and this is what it looks like when it naturally dries. So today I'm gonna come with another acting video. I haven't done one of these again in such a long while. I don't know why I leave it so long but I've been wanting to do this one for a while and it's talking about why I decided not to go to drama school. I did a video, I think it's about five years ago, really scary how time has flown, and I was talking about deciding whether or not to go to drama school. I'll link it down below for you and in the card as well. I found kind of looking at different opinions, you know, I was kind of confused about whether I wanted to go or not. And I did a little update in another video, which I think I'll try and find as well. But I kind of wanted to talk about the reason why I decided not to go. So this is obviously not going to be saying, don't go to drama school, it's rubbish, all this sort of thing. This is my personal choice of why I decided not to go. There are some people I know who have been to drama school, absolutely loved it and it was the right path for them but for me drama school was not the right path and I'm going to explain why. So if you don't know I've been acting since I was five and I've been acting mainly in film and tv shows. Now for me I found that I was getting continuous work and when I left school when I was 18 and I was kind of in that undecided mode of like what am I going to do I realized that I had been consistently getting work so what's the harm in keeping going and seeing how things go obviously this industry is very volatile and it's a huge mix of ups and downs of having loads of work and having no work but I was finding that I was working each year so why not just continue with that as I said I was working mainly in film and tv and normally on some of the courses it's more tailored to stage so you will probably go into a lot of work into the practitioners into Shakespeare into a lot of things to do with stage a lot of courses now do have a section about film and tv but I found as I have been growing and learning I found that the main way I was learning was on set and I think that was my way of learning I learned through experience obviously if you're looking at doing more stage I'm I would love to do some stage and I'd love to do some more stage but my heart is in film and tv and obviously if you want to go more down the stage route I would probably recommend going to do some sort of training because there are so many different techniques to learn and I think that would be really beneficial whereas if you're more into film and tv there are more opportunities for you to work without doing any training. Obviously when you go to drama school as well, you are in the education system and you're not gonna be as around as much to do auditions. I think that for me was a huge thing. I wanted to be out there, I wanted to be auditioning, I wanted to get my face in the room and I found that if I was gonna be doing that for three years and not being out there, then people would just forget who I am. When I went traveling, I went for five months. When I came back, it was so hard, especially after being used to being called in a lot and cast and directors actually asking for me and also being offered jobs as well, which is very rare. And I'm obviously very grateful for those roles. But for that period of time that I was away, even though it was five months, I felt like I was, I'd gone down a couple of rungs on the ladder. I felt like I had to climb up again if i was away for three years i would feel like i would just be starting from scratch completely from ground zero and i'm not about that i want to be continuously working so if you are more set in doing film and tv and you've not gone to drama school but you feel like you need some sort of training i'm just going to kind of run through the alternatives to going to drama school so i have been going to drama probably since as soon as i could speak that was where I kind of learnt my basics in drama as well as doing stage. They also focused on like film and TV, which was really, really good. And I found that really helpful for switching between stage castings and film and TV castings. So obviously drama lessons are obviously a great place to start. I've also found that actors workshops are so useful and you kind of get 
an opportunity to network with other actors, to meet casting directors and to learn scripts and perform them and get feedback and that is really useful because sometimes you can be set in your own way and I found that workshops, I've spoken about them a lot before, honestly I swear by them, I found that that is a great way to keep the juices flowing, to help you continually learn scripts because sometimes when you've not learned a script for a while and you get a script to learn for a casting and you're like how do I learn lines? <laughs> so this is a great way of keeping your hand in with learning and as I said being creative, supporting other actors, networking, you never know who you might meet at a casting. As well as these short workshops that are for like a couple of hours on a day, there are also longer workshops you can do. There are some that specialise in Shakespeare, in Meisner technique. I will link some below for you. And I think a really important thing to remember is that there are some actors who are working consistently, who are very well known, who didn't go to drama school. I think it's such a misconception, especially when you're leaving school, you feel like you have to go on to further education. And I think that if it's not for you, then don't force yourself. I found that some, well, one teacher in particularly at school was almost trying to force me to go into further education. And I was like, no, I'm gonna hold my ground. I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna look into this properly. I'm not gonna jump straight into a course that I don't know if I really want to do. I would love to get a discussion about this going in the comments below. So please let me know what your situation is, whether or not you're an actor or not, obviously. If you are an actor, did you train? Did you not train? I'd love you to let me know your views on this. Obviously, if you went to drama school, we'd love to hear your story as well. We'd love to hear how it's helped you how it didn't help you. Please do subscribe if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!